first, though, Emmerdale's making history tonight. It's its first ever transgender wedding, and our Amy Dowden got a special invite to the big day. It's my first ever visit to the Dales, and what a day to be here. I get to be part of the wedding day of Amy and Matty as they plan to tie the knot. But, as always, with Soapland, does it go to plan? Now, this is not your typical wedding outfit, is it? No! Can you tell me a little bit more? Amy's got a bit more of an alternative look, um, and you often see her in her docks and stuff like that, so we went for more of a vampy wedding look. He's been sort of going out with Amy, you know, the love of his life for years. They not got me. In... <laughs> not you. Um, but, yeah, Amy Wyatt, and they uh, finally got engaged, and then the happy day comes. It's a massive soap history moment because it's the first trans wedding, and we've not really seen him anything like it before. You've been on this show for 20 years. You've seen your... Fair share of weddings. How does this compare to others? I'm just trying to work out how many weddings I've actually been to. Maybe two a year, so maybe maybe 40. <gasps> a lot. I've got my wedding hat, but I've got a feeling it's going to be used for more of a whip round because a few obstacles get in the way. Anyone? You know what? Nate's quite broke at the minute, so I've got no money, got no cash, no coins neither. She's only got euros left from the cruise, but I mean. Let me have a look. I've got a chocolate bar wrapper. Uh, yeah, I have, you can, I have can, a phone. Oh, yeah. I can thank you. I mean, my phone's on set. Oh, no phone's on set, sorry. <laughs> yeah. You can have a couple of canapes if you like. Have you got any cash? Yeah, no, anything? I'm skinned. I can't no, you're skinned, yeah. OK. You know the wedding? Yeah. Well, it turns out I, um... <laughs> I can't afford it. There's been a bit of commotion. Amy has been let down last minute by her mother. When do you find out Kerry can't afford to pay for the wedding? He's in his suit, he's ready to go. Everything he's been waiting for, finally getting married to the love of his life. And then hours before the wedding, it's off. I bet you're fuming. Fuming? Absolutely fuming. She's not welcome at the wedding. You don't look like you usually do. Well, I don't know, I'm getting a bit of Brian May, uh, a little bit of Captain Hook. <laughs> not really impressed with the um, compliments that I'm getting, but yeah, Kerry's not allowed into the wedding, so she's using the wig to her advantage. She thinks that nobody's going to recognise her if she sticks this on. You turned up at the wedding rehearsal demanding payment from Kerry. Well, yes, if I'm going to rent my house, I want payment for it. Didn't go too well, did it? No, I don't think Kerry's got the money. You have done everything in your power to try and be able to pay for the wedding, haven't you? What went wrong? A heart is in the right place. Right. She just makes really, really bad decisions. I wonder if there's any more surprises. Yes! Oh, thank you, Amy. And that's going to be cracking to watch that. She's such a lovely, lovely chap. Um, yeah, fingers crossed it goes well, but it's Emmerdale, it probably won't.